This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. What are you thinking of the new name, Bill? MTK. Do you know what it stands for? You don't, do you? Mac the Knight. Well done. Well done, Billy Joe. Billy Joe Saunders, Peter Fury. How are you guys? Yeah. Not too bad. Not yeah? too bad. Where have you been, Bill? Everyone's been looking for you for the last half hour. I've been... Uh... Been in the cafe, and I uh, there's big fry ups next door and whatnot else. Now we've been on the top floor, me and Yui, just uh, doing a bit for BT Sport. Um, just finished off there now. Exciting time for uh, for the boxing, I reckon, for Frank Warren, and also for uh, Box Nation. Boosted the profile of everybody, I reckon. Come back to you in a second, Peter. How are you? I'm good, Coogan, Yeah. All good. From yeah. what Frank Warren was saying in that press conference. Yeah, hopefully, there's an announcement about the Joseph Parker fight very in imminent. I think there's an announcement with uh, both of them's fights imminent. So uh, I know Billy Joe's got a big fight coming up, and uh, Yui, we heard what Frank said, so we'll know something in the coming days. So hopefully we can get uh, get that fight made. Is Frank was obviously talking about that fight being over here, but is it obviously a stronger chance that Huey has to travel to New Zealand for that fight? Or I've no idea. I think uh, when I spoke to Frank, he's optimistic. You know, if the money's right, that Parker's team will come over here. Okay, and obviously another big fight you didn't get was the Canelo fight. Yeah. Bill is fighting Chavez now. Chavez Junior. Your thoughts on that fight first of all? <clears throat> Personally, myself, I don't think the fight, my opinion, will happen. I reckon, just to throw it out there, I reckon that he won't make the weight because if if he does make it and he's a pound over, it's a million dollar fine for every pound he's over. That's a lot of money to be fined for every pound you're over. I mean, if you come in ten pound, I'm sure that. 10 million the way it works. I don't know how the contract's set up, but that's what I've heard. Um, but if he do make it, I reckon that he'll be um, dried right out and he won't, he won't go six rounds. Opinions. Again, that's all. The way you were tweeting the other day, or the way you were feeling, was like you've kind of fallen out of love with the sport. Or is yeah, that... listen, it's all, it's all for a good cause, isn't it? It's all for a good cause. Um, I fell back in love with the sport about an hour later. So, it's all all right now. What, is that after a meeting with Frank? No, listen... Listen, at times I put things on Twitter and Facebook. Listen, they're very, very news travels fast. You know, people. They, see, from our end, I think it's because of where we come from. Our end, it's always negative news travels fast and gets the biggest stuff. You know, nothing good ever travels fast and gets put out there and put nice. But if I put out half oh, sick of boxing, then I'll get fifty thousand retweets or whatever I get. But you put out there that cleaning your belt or you're doing something then you get all of a pikey gypsy and everything else so just put out the negative vibes because that's all everyone likes at the minute so I thought why not put them out there Can you relate to what he's saying Peter? I can you know he's, uh, he's right what he's saying all heartedly because anything good they're not interested in anything negative where they can have a dig at it they, they will and you know it comes back to what he's just said again you know the culture comes flying into it every two minutes but it's what uh, drives them innit I mean, I was eating, I'll give you a little example. I was eating a bit of food yeah, the other day, about two weeks ago, in a calf. Finished the horse trotting, all right, the, we had all the horse boxes outside, and I see this man, kept, well, this, not man, well, he was about 21, 22, and he kept looking at me, giving me a bit of evil, so I was thinking, what's going on? <laughs> but then, uh, anyway, a couple of hours later, I see a tweet on Twitter, just saw the fat Jippo eating in a calf with full English, training's going well. So, so then I'm thinking, well, I, to be honest, I'm going to wait and keep going back to that calf till I get him. Because if I do get him, I will set about him for that. Because that's a racist, isn't it? Fucking hell, cousin. You should know all about this, though. Why should I? Everyone leaves me alone. People don't call me names, apart from you. Well, I've heard them. What? I've got a witness here as well, and this man won't lie. You just yelled a racist abuse at me in there. I didn't yell nothing. You said Jippo. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. I know, out. I know, this man on your left isn't going to back my, up your story. He's on my right. <laughs> oh, on my left, I said. Yeah. But I know this man here ain't going to say that. A, he's untrue, and Peter's kind of, you know, Peter in the grass for a start, so... Ah, oh, so you're using that no, one I'm just here. saying, if I had said it, if I had said it, if I had said it, I know this man wouldn't say anything. All right, move on, next question. Don't worry about it, you're not a racist, don't worry about it. Okay. You talk of you potentially fighting Tommy Langford as well. Listen, what you're doing, you're blocking everybody in it. Do you want to get out of the way? You're an asset. Do you just want to go? No, they were watching the video. Oh, carry on, boys. Carry on. They were talking about you fighting Tommy Langford, who's ranked 
uh, up there in the, the WBO. Yeah, what listen, was your crack with look, that? Tommy Langford's there, no disrespect to him. I think that he could do about maybe two more fights before he steps up to that, my opinion again. Um, but I'm also not going to say no to a, a mega fight that hopefully will be signed for a hell of a lot of money for the, uh, for the oncoming week. At middleweight? At middleweight, yeah, obviously, yeah. Well, uh, obviously, I'm just trying to think of You're opponents to wise. Yeah, but you well, might guess it because somebody might already have a fight scheduled in or they might not have a fight scheduled in and there's a couple of little things we have to get over. This man knows, but like you say, he's not a grass, is he? Obviously not. <laughs> obviously, clearly not. Um, I'm just trying to wrap my brains because... Yeah, listen, you know, listen, I'm, you, you would generally, generally know who it is, like, he's, it's the best of the best. The best, best? Best of the best, the best, best, maybe, I don't know, you should have heard it first time. Look, I can't say too much because I'm, everything's been done, money, art, all the things that mess fights about has been done. That's all it is now is a small thing and I will have to travel. But, and make the best of it, this fight should get staged in America, but it won't, I've got to go to his, his uh, home country, I think. I'm baffled, absolutely I know. baffled. But oh. you, you, Oh, no. you, you won't guess it because he's, he's already got work on, I suppose. It's not Quinlan, is it? No, oh, fucking hell. No, it's not him at all. <laughs> he's, he's getting the leisure centre ready for his fight next week. That was a good line you come up with in the press conference, <laughs> I will say. It's the line of the whole press conference. Yeah? Yeah, it was good. Uh, all right, thank you. Definitely. How's Tyson? Oh, yeah. He's good. Yeah? Happy? Yeah, he's happy. Um, anything else to tell if we're going to expect to see him in the ring this year? Tyson will do his, Tyson will do his own announcements when he's ready. My, my, opi he's my opinion is that he will be coming back and messing a lot of shit up. Because I've been speaking to him, he's a bit fat at the minute, but he's, he's, he's <laughs> definitely, certainly, he's certainly got the love there. And I think you will be seeing him on BT Sports very soon. Um, he's... He'll be back, don't worry about that. And also, he'll be back with Yui as well, being WBO champion. They'll be like the Klitschko brothers, bang, back in England. The cousins. The, the, the Fury cousins, I'm going to pay you on it. Yeah, 100%. Definitely. I reckon a million percent. Because, like I say, Yui's mandatory. I can't see no way with um, of Parker dealing with him. Um, as I say, I I'll, I'll speak to him regularly and the things what he's added to his son and Tyson is what he is. We know that he is the he is the man at the weight. Um, it's just a shame what's happened to him um, for the past few months. But like I say, shit happens, life goes on and Tyson will be back 100%. Um, we know you were talking to Wilder's camp as well about a potential fight for Huey there, Peter. What, what happened in the end there? Obviously Wilder's fighting in another fight next month, but what happened there? Well, I spoke to Frank, um, WBO has been very good with us, uh, so it was a case of either taking Wilder or Parker, but it was a WBO that made, made us way towards Parker, because they, they have been right with us, I knew he's in their ranking, so, you know, loyalty comes first, so we took the WBO, but the, both fights was available, but um, Frank, you know, we had a discussion, Mick, Frank, and we decided to go WBO route. No, I don't want you to re listen, like I say, is this that, I think that... You know, everybody turned, when Tyson done so well and done so good, I think that everybody didn't like what he did. They turned on him and, you know, tried to bring him down. And what they think is that Yui and him come as a pair. So they're thinking, right, if we're going to get Tyson, we don't want another Fury there because of the culture again. But that's not the case, like you said. Um, most definitely you'll see Tyson in the ring and definitely you'll see Yui world champion before the end of the year. I'm, should be, uh, I'm coming to the lawyer, I'm becoming the local... Uh, I'm dealing with the cases. You're shrewd as a lawyer, I know that. Oh, I don't know about that. And one. what I can say about this this team, he's got a fabulous new trainer, he's got a good promotion team with him, and I I know he's got a mega fight coming up. And the public are going to jump up and down. So that's as much as I can Probably see. screaming for me to get knocked out or so, but they're still going to be jumping <laughs> up and down. They're still going to be jumping up and down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's all we can give you, really. All right, OK, fair enough. We'll, we'll look forward to an announcement then. Yeah. Next week? Hopefully. But if I think, not, I think both of them will get announced. I think uh, mm. we should be announcing both of them, I think. Two. Okay. Put it all on to Frank, that's what he's told us, ain't he? Yeah. Frank won't, yeah, you put it all on to him, it's down to Frank. Talk to Frank. Well, it's, it's, Frank it's Frank's time, isn't it? All right, well, listen, uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, 
Hey, you got bullied. Peter Fury, thank you very much. Short and TV.